A major cleanup is underway in the Bronx tonight where a thousand gallons of oil was accidentally spilled into the river. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has the concern from neighbors who say it's causing quite the stench. A place that is usually serene. It's a nice place to walk around when you get my age. Ain't too much you can do. For Bruce Rudette is now a turnoff as oil booms outline this section of the Bronx River after an oil spill. It's like a biohazard. I wouldn't go down there. Smell that stuff. You can't blame him as the cleanup of fluid similar to mineral oil is underway. That's after Con Edison confirms the substance accidentally leaked into the water earlier this week, impacting those living nearby, like Michael Trent. The smell is atrocious. So I just keep my windows closed. Con Edison says about a thousand gallons of a non hazardous insulating fluid spilled into a storm drain at Nereid Avenue from a Con Edison transmission feeder in Yonkers on April 1st. Cleanup crews have seven booms spread across the river from McLean Avenue in Yonkers down to Fordham Road in the Bronx to absorb the substance and prevent it from traveling farther south. It's terrible, especially for like a lot of the seniors and the elderly that visit the park, that look at the water. There's a lot of wildlife in the water and stuff. It's horrible though. While there aren't any health or environmental concerns so far, Con Edison crews are working in Yonkers to bind any fluid before it reaches the booms. And for neighbors like Rudette, who once fished here, it's a temporary stop until the work is done. Well, that stuff seeps all into the shore and everything. Won't nobody be down there fishing. The only thing that'll be left is the eels. Officials say the work is expected to take another four days, but the impact from last Wednesday's storm may extend the work. In Woodlawn, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.